Montville Devotional for Monday, April the 6th, 2020. Matthew twenty six thirty nine says, And he went a little farther, and fell on his face, and prayed. Few had fellowship with the sorrows of Gethsemane. The majority of the disciples were not sufficiently advanced in grace to be admitted to behold the mysteries of the agony. Occupied with the Passover, Passover feast in their own houses, they represent the many who live upon the letter, but are mere babes as to the spirit of the gospel. To twelve, no, to eleven only, was the privilege given to even enter Gethsemane to see this great sight. And of the eleven, eight were left at a distance. They had fellowship, but not of that intimate sort which men greatly beloved are admitted. Only three highly favored ones could approach the veil of our Lord's mysterious sorrow. Within that veil, even these must not intrude. A stone's throw distance must be left between. It's the Lord who must tread down the wine press alone, and of all people, there must be none with him. Peter and the two sons of Zebedee represent the few eminent, experienced saints who may be written down as fathers. These, having done business on great waters, can in some degree measure the huge Atlantic waves of their Redeemer's passion. To some selected spirits it is given, for the good of others, and to strengthen them for the future, special and tremendous conflict, to enter the inner circle and hear the pleadings of the suffering. High priest, they have fellowship with him in his sufferings and are made conformable unto his death. Yet, even these cannot penetrate the secret places of the Savior's woes. That unknown sufferings is a remarkable expression in the Greek. There was an inner chamber in the Master's grief, shut out from all human knowledge and fellowship. There, Jesus is left alone. Here, Jesus was more than ever an unspeakable gift. Is not Watts right when he sings, and all the unknown joys he gives were brought with agonies unknown. Our Heavenly Father, as we once again begin a new week to serve you, we pray that you would be with us, guiding us and directing us in this hour of trouble and worry in the world. While this virus is running around and people are becoming sick and others are dying from it, Lord, we pray that you would work in a mighty way in the lives of all these people, bringing the loss to you bringing the backslidden back to you, and giving us the encouragement we need to go day by day. We love you. We trust you because you are the creator of all things, and that our Lord Jesus Christ is the Savior of the world. And we pray in his glorious name. Amen.